Senator Barbara Boxer of California ripped Bernie Sanders yet again, something she loves doing, uh, for some of the arguments that he's making on the campaign trail. So she said, quote, for Bernie Sanders to say that California Governor Jerry Brown is establishment is kind of the biggest joke of the day. And he has even called me establishment. Just because you're supporting Hillary Clinton doesn't mean you're establishment. I love Bernie and he has been my friend for a long time, but you can't just diss everybody who supports Hillary. <laughs> Allow me to respond. Yes, you can. <laughs> of course you can. Well, I mean, what kind of a point is that? I love how they get outraged over Bernie Sanders campaigning. They act like, what does he think, he's in a race against Hillary Clinton? Yeah, that's literally what he's in. You're gonna make arguments against that person. Like, look at how entitled they are. They're so entitled, these establishment Democrats, that they're like, If you dare call us what we are, we're gonna get so upset about it. Well, thou doth protest too much. If you really aren't concerned about it and you think there's no truth to the argument, you would... You wouldn't care. You'd be out like, yeah, say whatever you want. I don't give a shit. I know that's not true. But it is true. So they hear and they're like, oh, how dare you say that? I can't believe he even called me part of the establishment. You can't just do that, Bernie. Yeah, you can. And furthermore, he's right. It's not like people act like Bernie saying, like, he pulled that out of his ass. Oh, the establishment is against me. No, the, the establishment is against him. And it's not hard to see why. He's the guy who comes along and he says, yeah, I'm going to raise corporate taxes. Yeah, all those loopholes, all the corporate subsidies, done. It's over. They're going to pay more in taxes. They're going to pay their fair share. We're going to do redistribution of wealth. We're going to increase Social Security. We're going to increase Medicare. We're going to look out for the people. We're going to do a new New Deal. We're going to get all uh, green technology jobs. We're going to not do any more fracking. Yeah, I'm going to do a carbon tax. Yeah, I'm going to crack down on the oil companies. Yeah, if you're on Wall Street, you shouldn't like me. So, what's going to be the response to that? All those people he's attacking, they are the establishment. Naturally, they're going to hate him! <laughs> but they act like when he says the establishment doesn't like me, they're like, oh my, how dare you say that? I'm sure they love you. Goldman Sachs is such a fan of Bernie Sanders. What a joke! What a joke this is. Now, let's dig a little deeper here. Barbara Boxer was just ap apoplectic. Like, he even called me establishment! How could he do that? He's been my friend for so long, but fuck him. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. That's the throwaway line. Oh, he's been my friend. I love him so much, except fuck him, and he calls me establishment, and he's wrong. Um, why does he call you establishment? Well, according to Open Secrets, which tracks money in politics, Barbara Boxer has raised over $75 million her entire career from various special interests and industries. Just to give a few examples of the people who she's raised from, or the corporations she's raised from, we have Time Warner, Disney, Viacom, Fox, over $5 million from lawyers and law firms, and over a million dollars from investment firms. So, you want to know why he calls you the establishment? That's why he calls you the establishment. You are the establishment. We're not dumb enough to believe that you take money from these people, and then when they call you, you go, fuck off. Not gonna talk to you. No, you take that phone call. And when they say, hey, look, this bill's coming up here, and that gives me a little bit of an extra loophole to pad the bottom line a little bit more, you go, yes, sir. Anything else you'd like, sir? Stop insulting our intelligence. We know what goes on. And furthermore, I am beyond sick of the people who try to act like well, what do you mean? For progressives, it's a toss-up. What, Hillary, Bernie? Well, we got two great candidates. I don't know what you're saying. No, no, no. But see, if, you, if you're taking that position, you are either ignorant, meaning you don't know the facts, stupid, you're obsessed with identity politics, and you're a uh, McFeminist, or you haven't come to terms with the fact that you're actually center-right on the political spectrum, because that's where Hillary Clinton is. It's one of those four things. There is no other option. <laughs> There's no like, no, 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 I actually am super progressive and super liberal, but I choose Hillary Clinton over Bernie Sanders. No, 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 no. Then like I said, I just went through the list. You're one of those four things. Take your pick. Either you're just like, yay, woman president. Yay. Forget it all for policy position. She's a woman. Yay. Either you're in that camp, you're ignorant, you're stupid, or you're center-right, but you think you're progressive and you're liberal. 
There is no other option. Okay, I'm trying to stress this because it's true. This is based on the facts of where she stands and what she's done. So, for example, you have Hillary Clinton who voted for the Iraq War. Hillary Clinton who supported regime change in Libya. Hillary Clinton who's still pushing for regi regime change in Syria. Hillary Clinton who's super hawkish on Iran. She wouldn't have even done the Iran deal. I mean, she takes credit for it now, but go listen to what she said in 07. How dare Obama want to talk to Iran without preconditions? Well, when he did that, it led to this deal. So she wouldn't have even done that. So super hawkish across the board on foreign policy. She was for the Patriot Act. Bye bye Fourth Amendment. Okay, so she's one of the people who facilitated this move where the NSA collects all of your metadata so they can spy on you. Well, that's not very progressive now, is it? She was for NAFTA. She pushed for the TPP 45 times. She was in favor of deregulation. It's not a legitimate opinion to say, oh, I'm super progressive and super liberal, but I prefer Hillary Clinton over Bernie Sanders. No. So I'm tired of the way that they frame it and they act like, you know, oh my goodness, these Bernie supporters, how rude of them. No, how accurate of them. Bernie calls you the establishment because you're the establishment. Get the fuck over it.